Move! I am a mother. I have a son, Oliver. Daughter. Her name is Thea. She's just a teenager. Please don't take me from my children. They've lost their father. They can't lose me, too. Please, whoever you are, please. Okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. This is more than clean. I'm on the 39th floor. I need help. There's an intruder. Please. so unbelievably clear. You're bleeding. I don't need to be told that. You need a hospital. My, my father's old factory in the glades. No, you, you need a doctor, not a steel worker. Oh, Sidney, you have to promise me that you are going to take me to my father's factory and nowhere else. Yeah, promise. <laughs> Something tells me blood stains are not covered under my leaves. So far, the police are unwilling to comment, but unsubstantiated eyewitness reports claims that the Starling City vigilante attacked Mrs. Queen in her office earlier tonight. She was unharmed in the assault. Excuse me. Can you help me? He's really heavy. No, oh, damn it. He just missed a carotid. It's a zone two wound. Press there. I should have taken him to a hospital. No, listen, that's why he asked you to bring him here. Because he knew the police would want to know how and why he got that wound. I'm guessing how and why are all of the Queen's least favorite questions. Yeah, well, there's also when and where he's not too fond of. So we can't bring him to the hospital. We are bringing the hospital to him. Is that? Yeah. His blood, he stored up for a rainy day. And I said, right now, it's pouring. <laughs> I got it over there. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, I have some medical training in the Army. I just hope it's enough. You remember playing Operation when you were a kid? Yes. And it never made me want to throw up. Hey, listen, listen, trust me. You'll be fine. He's been through a lot worse than this. 